have no time to talk, but tell them I'm all right. I'm out of the flat. They haven't stopped me. Who oh, hasn't stopped you? Sybil? What's the matter? I've just had the most peculiar conversation with Sybil. She kept on about being out of the flat and nobody had stopped her and... What do you mean no one had stopped her? Stopped her from doing what? That's just it. I don't know. She suddenly put down the telephone. Dinner is served, my lady. Yeah, tell me, Dr Lang, do you find that the war has driven the people back into the churches or further away than ever? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Someone sounds very angry. Or very wet. Or both. Do you have any luggage, sir? I barely have the clothes I stand in. Where are they? They're in the... Tom! What's happened? Where's Sybil? I had to get away and leave her to follow, but I made all the arrangements in case. She'd be on her way by now. But why are you here? And why must she follow you alone? I can explain. There's a dinner going on, but I'll go and tell them that you're here. No, don't. No one must know. I'll tell you it all when they're gone. What's the matter? Tom! Go upstairs and find some dry clothes of Matthew's. I'll come for you when the coast is clear. Would you please ask Mrs. Hughes to sort some food out for him? Yes, my lady. I can hardly believe it. I used to come here all the time as a boy. Run to Mummy Georgie. Edith's alone on the town. What will she get up to? So what do you think I should do? Would you like a London life? The fact is, I'd like a life. 